happening now. Tens of thousands of partiers are exiting the Ultra Music Festival, and tonight is just the beginning of the base. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from all the action in downtown Miami. Hi, Carrie. Hi there. The speakers went off right at the stroke of midnight, and as we were reminded again today, Ultra is a musical melting pot. This is what tens of thousands of people paid hundreds of dollars to see electronic music at its finest. It's just very thrilling. DJs and performers wowed the crowds with non stop beat filled tracks. And as the masses lined up to kick off the festival at 4 p.m. Friday, we met people who journeyed far and farther to be here. We're from Mexico. These guys came from south of the border for the tune. The, all the artists over here, and yeah, there are like, like a lot of famous people here. This pair came from Scotland. Why not, why not come to the Vegas Music Festival in the water? Awesome. We met people from Canada, elsewhere in Europe, and all over the U.S., all brought together by one thing, music. I think it's going to be loud. I think it's going to be colorful. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. Many were newcomers. But Josie Inman from California is a veteran of six ultra music festivals. I think it's the location mainly, too. It's the location. It's right in the middle of everything. I think the crowd is just a lot friendlier than a lot of crowds I've seen. I don't know. I just, for some reason, I just, I come back every year. I love it. And as much as they came for the music, some came from Miami, like DJ Henri PFR, who performed Friday night. My favorite part will be the city, like Miami, because it's a festival in Miami. We have the sea, we have the beach, we have the buildings. It's, it's a beautiful place. Security was tight. Cops were everywhere. And the streets outside Ultra were jammed with cars and foot traffic. And as the music and light shows infected the crowd, the vibe was universal. People come from all over the world, and you know, what better place to have a party in Miami? And this festival means millions in revenue for this community. We are told that a firefighter who was trying to treat someone was attacked by a violent person, but fortunately that firefighter was not injured. Now Ultra ramps up again tomorrow at noon, wraps up Sunday night at 11. Live in downtown Miami, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Carrie, thank you.